it impacted his behavior and maybe even his theology. Yes, uh -huh. Now, before I probe this any further, let me serve notice this morning that my grandmother had much influence on her children. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In fact, there are three absent here today, but if Paul, Sherman, and Mays were here, they would say as the intruders sung, I always love my mama. Hey! <laughs> She's, She's my, my favorite girl. Yeah, I know it. I always love my mama. Yes, yes sir. She brought me in yeah. this world. Yeah, yeah. I want to suggest that uh, a mother's instincts kick in early with the child. Mm -hmm. yeah. And such was the case with Mary. Uh, uh, in the early life of Jesus, there was an occasion once where he went missing for three days. Uh -huh. And uh, any real mother uh, like Mary would be upset about it. Mm -hmm. She let Jesus know that she was unhappy. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Her love drove her to speak pointedly to Jesus. And Mary was just like some of you might have been if your child went missing. Boy, mm. where have you been? Where have you been? You know better than that. Your father and I have been worried sick about you. Yeah, yeah. Why have you done this thing to us? Yeah. Huh? Her concern for him, her love for him, would not allow this misbehavior to go unaddressed. Yes, sir. After the confrontation. What? What? After the confrontation, interestingly, the Bible said he was subject to her. Yeah. yeah. Huh? My grandmother shared in this ability to reprimand, rebuke, and correct. Yeah. yeah. My Aunt Donnie gives stories, and she said how that when they were growing up, they had no street lights, and so you had to be in before dark. Yeah. She said more than once she was caught after dark playing. <laughs> Aunt Donnie said that... Uh, uh, her brothers, four of them would go out looking for her mm -hmm. after dark. Uh, after dark. She said if they showed up teasing her, mama gonna get you. She said she knew it was all right. Mm -hmm. She said, but if they showed up, found her, found her and said nothing. <laughs> oh, it was on me. She knew things were going to go badly for her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She said she knew that a switch was in her immediate future. <laughs> <laughs> All good mothers reprove, yeah. Yeah. reprimand, and correct because they love their children. Yeah. Yes. And we hold on to this rebuke, this correction as a pattern for later. Well, later in the ministry of Jesus, he drives out the money changes from the temple yeah. and declares, my house shall not be, my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you have made it into a den of thieves. Well, well, could it be, yeah. could it be, well. could it be that the motivation for such courageous action yeah. on the part of Jesus was the remembering of that reproach yeah. Yeah. that she received, that he received from her mother, from his mother when he was a child. Yeah, yeah. take your time. Maybe, maybe, maybe we see the influence of his mother upon him. Huh. In this same time period, the scripture says, that uh, his mother kept all these things mm, yeah. in, a, in a heart. Yes, sir. Mary was contemplative and thoughtful. A child, a child is a mother's mission. Mm -hmm. She constantly thinks about that child and does for that child. Mm -hmm. my, my father gives a story of how he was in school in Woodshop. 
making basketball trophies and uh, was using some kind of saw, band saw, some kind of electric saw, and uh, almost severed his index finger in two. And the doctors decided to amputate the upper part of his pointing finger, but uh, during this dramatic experience, yeah. 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 come on, rap, Granny Fanny, Fanny Mae Wilcox crawled into the hospital bed with my father, that young man at that time, and never left his side yeah. until she knew he was better. Yeah. yeah, it seems to me that Jesus drew from this kind of thoughtfulness on, that he saw in his mother Mary. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, later, toward the end of his ministry, <laughs> Jesus knew there was something special about Peter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He kept Peter in his heart. Uh, Peter. Uh, cussing Peter. Cussing Peter. <laughs> Sword slinging Peter. Peter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Peter that severed the man's ear. Yeah, the, yeah. the same Peter that denied Jesus three times. Yes, yes. The scriptures declare that after the resurrection, it was an awkward but necessary moment Jesus restores Peter thrice yes, yes. with the phrase, do you love me? <laughs> Come on. Feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. Do you love me, Peter? Yes, sir. Feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. Yes, sir. And because he denied him three times, a third, do you love me, Peter? Feed my sheep. Yeah. Talk, talk. But it seems to me that Jesus was greatly influenced by the example of thoughtfulness and how to hold a person in the heart as a result of watching uh, his mother. Uh -huh. Not only was his mother thoughtful and from time to time given to correction, but every mother is a model of being supported. Uh, yep. I ought to have one mother in the house to say amen. I'm moved by this because this was the case with Mary and Jesus. Yeah. Right, right. She, she, she was supported. She was there. She took him to the temple on the eighth day for circumcision. Yeah. Yeah. She, she was supportive. She was there when uh, she took his hand as he took his first steps. Yeah. Yeah. Mary was present when Jesus came into himself at 12. You remember, he yeah. said, I must yeah. be about my, yeah. my father's business. Come on, Reverend. Uh, yeah. Mary was supportive. She was there at Cana. When uh -huh. he performed this first miracle, miracle. Yeah. Yeah. turned water into wine. And what a pile! She's standing in the shadow. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Rep. With a heavy heart. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Mary is standing at the foot of the cross. You cannot know the grief. We cannot know what she suffered as. She looks upon her baby nailed to that cross. Blood running from his forehead. His face is swollen from the beating he suffers from the Roman soldiers. His hands are quivering as a result of the nails being driven in his feet. He's bleeding from the side. Yes, sir. Pierced. Yes, sir. There he stands, suspended between earth and glory. Yes, sir. Mary is looking at her baby boy, though he's suspended in infamy. She's there to show her support. Yes, sir. I'm moved by this. Because this is 
the somber setting of our text this morning. Well, her elder son was about to die. Yeah. 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 You, you need to understand that we haven't heard from Joseph since. Yeah, Lord have mercy. We haven't heard from Joseph since. Yeah. 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 We haven't heard from uh, Joseph uh, since yeah, Jesus yeah. was 12. Uh, oh. Some scholars say left, others say that he died. We haven't heard from heard. Joseph. Yeah, so panic. the elder son assumes the responsibility yes. of protection yes. and provision. Yes. And now this son is about to die. About to die. But I stopped by to tell you what? Tell us. that it was not the end yeah. for me. Yeah. Somebody shout, it was not the end. Not Make the your end. way, Anthony. Oh, Jesus demonstrates the importance of motherhood by interrupting salvation history. <laughs> he's in the middle of serving the very purpose for which he's come. Jesus. 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 Yes, sir. Is on the cross. Yeah. Bleeding. Yes. Suffering from agony and pain. Yes, sir. Jesus, Jesus is engaged in a cosmic battle to bring redemption to humanity. But he puts everything on hold. Come on. He says, stop angels. Stop moving. Everything stop. Mary. Huh. Behold. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The son. Yeah. Disciple. Behold. Thy mother. Yes, sir. In other words, I know I represented provisions and protection. Yes, sir. But I need you to know, Mary. I need you to know, Mama, that though I'm going to my end, I'm going to make provisions. Woo! For you. Yes. I love it. The lesson for us in this eulogy is that no matter how great your empire, what? no matter how famous you become, Talking. no matter how much you acquire in this life, huh? take care of those who took care of you. Yeah. yeah. Sister Sherry, First Lady, it's a scathing indictment yeah. that we who are preachers and ministers, we are consumed with ministry and we neglect our families. Yes, Shame on us yes, when the model of Jesus is to hold up everything oh, to make sure family is taken care of. Yeah! Oh, my brothers oh. and sisters, yeah. I've stopped by to tell you, this is not the end. Not the end. Oh, Mary, don't you weep. What? <laughs> tell Martha, yes, come on, not to mourn. Yes. yes. But just as it was not the end for Mary, yeah. this is not the end for Fannie Mae Wilkins. Yeah. What? Let, 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 let me say that I know this is a funeral. And there's a casket here laying out before us. Come on. But I need to tell you that this is not the end. Well, uh, my grandfather, yeah. who lived to be 92 years old, uh -huh. uh, he was the husband of our deceased, our grandmother, mother dear, Granny Fanny. 67 years wow. they were married. Wow. 67 years. Uh, we were riding along one day. Uh, it was he and I. And I don't know 
but his mind began to go back. He said to me, grandson, in the early days, the 50s, the 60s, he said when we went to the movies, uh -huh. he said the colored people had to go upstairs. Uh -huh. Everybody say upstairs. Uh, upstairs. And he said the colored people had to go upstairs. <laughs> he, he said the, the movie back then, grandson, was on two reels. Uh -huh. he, he said uh, we would watch the first reel. Yeah. He, he said, and, and when it came to the end, you could hear the end of the tape flapping. He said we, we were upstairs and, 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 and the projector was right where we were sitting, just behind the wall. He said, and we come to the end of the first reel upstairs. He said you could you could hear the end of the reel flapping. Take flap, your time. Flap, 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 flap. He, he said uh, the movie uh, then had come to that place where the first reel was over. He said, and and we would go downstairs and get popcorn and and a drink he said uh, and, and and then we would return upstairs let me upstairs. Say upstairs upstairs uh, yeah he, he said uh, he, he, he said we would return upstairs uh -huh. I still about to tell you that uh this is not mother dear's in yeah no, 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 no. Uh, just over a week ago, uh, my grandmother's first reel yeah. Yeah. ran out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we heard it in the uh, Baptist hospital. Uh, yeah. Flap, 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 flap. Uh, her body shut down and uh, she drew her last breath. Flap, 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 flap. Uh, but upstairs. I wish I had somebody that knew what I was. Upstairs, God put on his projector upstairs for second reel. And I stopped by to tell you we're going to see her again. Somebody shout, we're going to see her again. The apostle Paul said to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Yes, sir. Uh, he said over in uh, Thessalonians for the Lord himself yeah. will descend with a shout yeah. with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of God yeah. and the saints Whoa. Come on. who died they are going to rise Whoa. first I heard the old people singing and some of them are here with us today. Mother Davis, Mother Mack, uh, Mother Hopper, those who helped me in my upgrowing. I heard them singing one glad morning. When this life is over, I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shores. Just a few more weary days, and I'll fly away. Somebody shout glory! Glory! I'm gonna see her again because this is not.
stand on your feet and put your hands together. Let's praise him for about 30 seconds. Anybody know you going upstairs? Put your hands together. Let's go, Derek. Let's go. Let's go.